underway here then in Germany. So Miyazono leads the field on the run down towards that first corner. Gallo there in the slipstream. Drivers weaving, trying to get heated to their tyres as they come down into the braking zone. Very late on the brakes there for Adriano Carazza, and I think there was contact with Miyazono there. Runs him out a bit wide. Also, Kokoman going wide at the first turn there as well. But fortunately, despite that contact, as you can see, a penalty being picked up there for Carazza. Miyazono still manages to retain the lead. So here's Valerio Gallo on the back of Vinicius Nato, both on the medium compound of tyre, but Gallo's, of course, a lot fresher oh. than the Brazilian drivers, and you can see that as well. So much more confidence under braking coming into that hairpin. Now, coming into the Michael Schumacher S, it's going to be very much one at a time through there, but I reckon into the left-hander at the top of the hill, turn 13 is where we could see Gallo try and pounce on the back of Nato. In the slipstream, then pulls to the inside. He's going to have a lot more grip under braking. Here is Gallo in the Honda. Down the inside he goes, and into sixth position as well. See how aggressive Gallo is driving. He's just stabbing at the front, just trying to get a little bit more rotation as we go through the S and Nato in the background. Oh, he's sideways there, trying to follow Gallo's line, but doesn't quite have the grip. This is the man right now who knows he has to push to go down the pit straight once again. This is now going to be the best chance for Angal to have a move. He's right in the toe of uh, Carazza. He must surely either goes to the inside line. I don't think there's much really Carazza can do here. On the brakes late, Kokum is going to try and follow him through. Goes down the centre of both of them. Contact pushes Angal through. That helps him. And there goes the Beetle. There goes Donovan Barker. Really making advantage of that situation. Round the outside, another penalty for Kokuman too, but we're still looking at Parker and Carazza. Carazza trying to defend on the inside. Parker's on the inside with his right hander, though. And there you go, the Beetle is by, up into fourth position. To Kimba Miyazono, 2.9 seconds the gap now sits to Valerio Gallo. I mean, he's just a class of his own as it stands. Lucas Benelli in the AMG Mercedes has his number. And uh, in, he goes defensive, though, to the right hand. And will he be able to keep the line? But he's going to try for the long way around. Not usually a move we see. Is he going to make it work? Oh, wow. Cuts in front of Angle in the stroke. It's going to be on the outside here. But no, can't quite make it work. I thought he got that done there. That, that would have been moved with the race easily. It certainly would have been. The thing is, the camber drops off at that first corner. And it's just a little bit too late for uh, Benelli to find his way through the one in the stroke. But he's now right on the rear wing. Coming down the T1, just going to try the outside. So again, can you make it work this time? That's side by side on the way in. And Gallo's going to keep that inside, keep that camber. Forces Benelli wide. Now Kokiman's in there as well. So you've got to be very careful now, Lucas. You've got a, a master there on your outside as well. Coming through the stadium, Kokiman's going to try a long way around. Going to run out of road there, mate. He does. But then he keeps it. He's still trying around the outside, Kokiman. You've got to uh, give him a mark for effort <laughs> there, definitely. And a little bit sideways from Benelli, getting a little bit too enthusiastic on the front. Oh, this is a great fight. In Estroza, currently doing his best in that Porsche 911 to hold on to it, but Benelli's trying to challenge it up the inside. That's a late move there. It was a half-hearted one there as well, because Inostroza had kind of closed the door. That allows Kokoman to pull alongside on corner exit. Side by side, the Porsche versus the Mazda up the hill into the Schumacher S. Are they going to go two by two into there? They certainly are. Kokoman's got more grip on the fresher soft tyres, and now Inostroza's going right down the order. Benelli going defensive then, and Kokoman's going to go for the outside line. He's going to try a last stand there, move into there, but it's not going to be quite enough as Takuma Miyazono comes across the line to win World Series 2 of the 2021 FIA Gran Turismo Championships in the Manufacturer Series. Valerio Gallo for Honda comes home in second position and Lucas Benelli, by the skin of his teeth, is just going to hold on to third place.